This here is uh, my next video in the series of defeating iron. I created my super nasty, scary iron board with all the nails from that previous video that I pulled up. There's a bottle cap on there, a rusty bottle cap right there. And uh, what it does is you put the nail on the surface, or you put a coin on the surface of the of the uh, um, nail board to see if you could pick it up. And then if, uh, if you pick it up there, you can put it down in the hole, and that's a quarter inch down, approximately, and uh, see if you could pick it up there in any one of the numerous holes. And then if that, uh, if it pick it up that way, then you can raise the board up, leaving the nail, leaving the uh, the coin down below the uh, board, and uh, see if you can pick it up that way. So far, pretty much everything fails at this test, but I'm going to run it and show you how uh, how things operate. So. Here we go. I've got um, got a Soro Capadre. I modified this one. It's uh, just got a straight shaft and uh, a sensitivity control and a coil connector, so I can put coils on it. But it's got the uh, stock Capadre coil, 575 concentric. I've got a Sovereign Elite Mine Lab, and you can see the uh, I've got it on a straight shaft too that I built with the uh, 10 by 12 SEF, and uh, it's that one. And then I've got my Goldbug Pro. Which is my favorite iron machine. I got the 10 inch DD coil and the 5 inch DD coil. And uh, we'll be going over this board with all those detectors to, uh, to see how they perform. So I'll set one up here and then start, start the uh, video again. Okay, I put uh, all quarters in there in every hole. I got my Goldbug Pro with the uh, 10 inch DD. I'm going to run it um, with the settings of. We've got about 50% gain, and then we're going to set our disc or tone break at 40, like we did in the previous video. Let's see how we get on here. So, nothing. So we're occasionally getting some of these. That one there. So when you're working this stuff, you have to work really slow. Oh, and when you get a hit, you got to try and work it out. But as you can see, with uh, with quarters, quarter inch or so down, we're pretty much getting nothing. The only hit we're getting is that bottle cap. That's the only one we're getting solid. So that's with the 10 inch. We're going to get now and occasionally that way. We're getting that one. So we're getting some of these still. Maybe we're even getting most of them. So that's the, uh, the 10 inch uh, double D on the Goldbug Pro with the quarters. Now I'll turn my Sovereign on. With the Sovereign, I'm going to turn it on here. Max volume. I've got the sensitivity pretty much zeroed out because uh, it's just too too chattery in here. But I got the threshold so I can hear it. Got my disc at minimum. Volume's max. Sensitivity is pretty close to zero, but we don't have a distance, so it'll work here. We'll see how this goes. I was picking these up, moving really slow. So. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it is picking it up occasionally 180s. Nothing. So we're getting occasional hits. We're getting occasional hits of that sovereign. Hard to tell though. So I mean most of those probably would not be diggable targets. So we'll shut that off. Go for the compadre. We're going to put our compadre to where I normally set it, which is just above the end in iron, right on the end of the end on iron. We're going to put our sensitivity on mine. I'm going to put my sensitivity down where it's not chattering. And then we're going to give this sucker a spin here. So we're getting that one. We're getting that one. 
Kind of picking up some of these nails though too. Yeah, so if you're using the quadri, you might pick up a few of these. So I'm gonna set that down there. We'll pull these quarters out. And we'll, we'll try it with some uh, some dimes in the holes. So coin in each hole. See how we get on. I haven't changed the settings any, so here we go. Kind of getting that, getting that bottle cap. So if you worked it really slow, you'd probably get most of that. You'd probably get most of those at that height. So now we will try to. Uh, I'm going to raise this up about uh, three quarters of an inch. There we go, there's a spacer. And there's my other spacer. About three quarters. And uh, three quarters to an inch up. Probably about an inch up now. And uh, we'll see how we go with this. And, uh, no target. Maybe an occasional hit. Picking up there. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, might, might be getting that one there. So, there you go on that. Uh, so, raise it up an inch and you pretty much lose most of your ability to hit anything. Put the sovereign. Sovereign's back on, same settings. We're going to give her sucker a spin. You might be getting one of those. It might be that bottle cap though. Pretty much zeroed out blank to the sour. Nothing. Pretty much zero there, so I'm gonna pull all this out. Put this back up there so she can see. Yeah. Here's the sovereign going over again. So the one one hit we were probably getting was that bottle cap. So there you go. Sovereign and iron is just just too slow. With this big coil, if you had a smaller coil, you might be better off. I'm betting one of those five-inch coils would probably be pretty nice. Um, take the Goldbug Pro, put our put our dimes back, and after this, I'll I'll put the five-inch coil on the Pro, and uh, we can give that a spin. So there we go. There's our coins again. Pro, same settings. Forty, and let's give it a spin. We pick up the nails. Nothing. Nothing. We'll get this bottle cap there. No, not even that. That's the bottle cap. We hit the bottle cap every time. So nothing. Um, I'll pause that. I'll put the five inch coil on. We'll see how we perform. Okay, we got the five inch coil. And we're set at uh, 40. With dimes, an inch up uh, off this board, inch plus. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. We're running about 50% gain. Nothing. Bottle cap. Nothing. Okay. 
Occasional hit. Nothing. Nothing. Well, there you have it. You wouldn't get a single one of these probably with uh, you just. Well, you get that bottle cap. There you go. Nothing. Let's uh, just for fun. Let's set our disc disc down to forty. Uh, thirty. Thirty on the disc. Well, they might be picking them out now. Nothing. Aha! So disc at 30, which is about as low as you'd want to go, otherwise you're going to pick up every nail really bad. You're, you're starting to get this. Just for the fun of it, let's see how low we can go and not pick up any nails here. Okay, put that back. There. Let's see. Let's see. So we're going to get the cap. And we're going to get this long nail. So all nails. We're going to start picking up these long nails even at this. But we were picking up a few of the coins. So there we go. If we put the quarters back in here. Quarters here with an inch up. Because dimes are pretty small and iron. There. Quarters now. We're set at 30. Get that quarter. That one's gone. Gone still. Gone. Nothing. Hey, we're getting both of those. From that angle. Pull that one. And that one's gone. We go back up to 40, where I normally run. Nothing. Uh, occasional hit. Occasional hit. Well, there you have it. At uh, 40, occasional hit. At 30, you could pick up most of those, but you're going to pick up a lot of those nails at the same time. So that's uh, a bit of a problem. And uh, just for the fun of it, let's try this sovereign again with those one inch coins. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing. That's that bottle cap. And nothing. So, really not going to perform well in that. Maybe an occasional hit, but it might be the might be the uh, the nails too. So there you have it. Uh, most detectors cannot see through iron. It's just the way it is.